on this. Okay, so, and I want to um, clear this. I already told you it's not, the recording is not gonna get you on the, so just now I want to uh, make sure that I understand that this function here is the mean of central limit theorem. And this is the standard error so, and the mean of the central limit theorem is always equal to the, ori the mean of the original debt. While the standard error is equal to the standard deviation of the original debt uh, divided by square root of sample size. Okay, so all you have to do is, and this implies, uh, they gave me everything. The standard division of the original data is 14. The sample size is 32, so it will be square root of 32. So I'm about to get the standard error now, so I'll pick up my calculator right here, and I want to find the standard error. So that is the only thing you're going to calculate because the mean of the central limit theorem is equal to the mean of the original data. So really they don't need to calculate anything. So I'm, I'm just going to type in the number that I have and that is 14 divided by square root. So I get the square root of the sample set, which is 32. And then when I hit enter, I have um, the standard error to how many decimal places. And I'm told to leave my answer to three decimal places. All right, so I already know that the mean of the original data is equal to the mean of the central limit theorem. So I'm only worried about the standard error. Somebody give me the answer to that. Give me the answer. What is the standard error to three decimal places? Somebody, go ahead. 2.475 is correct. So the standard error is 2.475. And then the, uh, the mean of the central limit theorem is 53 the same as the mean of the original data so so we have answered that question um let's go down okay so that part is not uh difficult that part is not difficult so this time we will uh, go back and look for a question that actually asks us to find the area inside um a mean distribution. Let's see if we're going to get a question that is uh, going to ask us to find the area of a normal curve or the curve of a mean distribution. So I would like to uh, get a question like that now so that if you see a population question, don't worry about it. Uh, we are not, population P is not in our syllabus. P is not in our syllabus. Okay. Um, so I am getting the question on Okay, well, for now, well, let's answer the questions on the ones we have seen. Let's answer the ones we have seen. A simple random sample of size n is drawn from a population. Okay. Okay. And the standard deviation is that construct. We're not here yet. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I can stop uh, share and stop recording for now. And so that I can get, uh, I'll get the questions that I need for, so that I will make it short and simple. 